Now, first of all, you want to loosen up this screw in, in behind here. Slide this out. Snug it back up for a second. Now, put your phone in here. Now, line up this port. Now, with your phone lined up to the port, centered, go ahead and uh, tighten this screw back up. Just push this against your phone. Make sure your port's still in the center. Now, go ahead and take one of your alcohol pads, wipe down the bottom of your dock. Now, slide your cord into this block, push it all the way through as far as it will go. Now go ahead and remove your liners from your tape. With the liners removed, now go ahead and insert it into your phone. Push on the cord, don't push on the block. You, you just want the cord to go in. Okay, it's seated. Now push the block up towards the bottom of the dock. That will set the adhesive. Okay, that's set. I'll go ahead and just snug this up. When tightening this, do not tighten it too much because it'll go right through the cord. It doesn't take much to hold this thing. So just be careful. If it happened to slip, you can always tighten it more later. Now your dock is adjusted to your phone. Pull it out, dock it, push it in, slide it down, it's docked. Now if you would happen to get a different case and you need to reset this, you just take the screw out, push the cable back through, and then you would twist the block. It usually would come off with your hands, but uh, a pair of pliers would definitely just twist it like this, because the tape always stays slightly soft. Then clean the block off, clean it down with alcohol, reapply the tape, and you're ready to go for another reset. This tape does hold 160 pounds per square inch, so when you're twisting it, that's not where the strength lies on the tape. It's it's in and out, and that's what is used here. Now, take your dock, and then you screw this into the back of it. Screw it all the way in, and back it off a half about a turn. If you're going to need to use the suction cup. You would need to buy this item optional. This is not included with the dock. So it works the same way. You just thread it into the hole. And then you would uh, tighten this up against it to spin it. And if you don't like the plastic part that's on here, you can always use the, the metal part off your fixed dock mount and then turn it on, but you must take the plastic part off of this. Again, this is optional. Now, with your phone powered off, um, put your phone in the dock. And just sort of search around on your dash to where you think this would best fit. Um, just keep in mind, things change, you know, when you're uh, driving. Like this vehicle has a, a shifter, and if I'd put it over here, once it was done in drive, it'd be blocking my screen. So, just different things like that. And the reason I say put your phone in it, because if you're going to swivel it, some places you might not think it will fit, it will fit. I have a ledge here, but it sticks out just far enough that it doesn't affect it. Now go ahead and pull your liners off, and then wherever you decided to put it, go ahead and stick it. And what you do is just go ahead and push it on. You can see it's, it's not moving. Just that fast, it's already set. Um, it gets full strength in like 48 hours, but I mean, this this tape that I use is a lot stronger than it would ever need to be for a phone. Make sure before you put that on there that you wipe your dash area down with alcohol where you're going to place the adhesive. Now to remove it, I just use a pair of pliers, and then what you do is you just twist it. This tape always stays slightly soft, and the strength isn't in twisting it, it's pushing and pulling it. As you can see, it's uh, 
almost all of it came off. There's just a little bit of glue left on there. And uh, you can get that off with, uh, I'm just using alcohol here, but you could probably use uh, bug and tar remover or adhesive remover. See, it comes off perfectly clean. Like it was never even there. I'll give you extra tape. It's the red back tape. Peel this off with a razor blade or with your fingers. Most of it will come off with your fingers. You see? If it doesn't, then you have to take a razor blade and get the rest of it off and then reapply the tape. Now spin your dock on. Until it stops. You don't even have to put it. You can only put it on a couple threads if that's what you want. Make sure you back it off one. And I'm going to go ahead and tighten. What you do to tighten it up is you uh, twist the dog bone counterclockwise towards the back of the dock. And then that cinches it tight. I give you a couple cable clips and they stick to your dash. They have an adhesive back. Just wipe it down with alcohol, stick them on wherever you need it. 